What's going on guys? Welcome back to another gameplay stream. I am very excited to jump in. We have not done much Strixhaven uh, gameplay yet. We've only really played one deck. Uh, and so I thought we would jump in this week with one of my personal favorites, or I will say most excited about kind of decks. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. I just wanted to go ahead and say we've got a lot of exciting stuff over on our YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, please go check out the other videos we've been posting. We're doing a lot of proxying tutorials or digital altar tutorials uh, on certain cards that I've really enjoyed. Uh, those have been really, really fun. You guys seem to like those as well. In fact, we had one person, uh, one of our Patreon members, actually reach out and just say that hey i'm also a designer and i thought about trying some of the proxy stuff that you've done can i share with you that kind of stuff he hasn't yet but i'm really excited to see it uh we've also got just a massive strixhaven box opening video which is two booster boxes hey splayer and two pre-release kits uh from my two favorite uh colleges which is strixhaven and uh or not strixhaven witherbloom and quandrix uh both of which i thought were really really fun to open uh, and we, of course, have our giveaway going on right now for a Strixhaven bundle. So do please uh, check that video out as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the deck. Splayer, first of all, how are you doing, buddy? Great to see you here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Today we are playing Boros Magecraft. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Boros is my least favorite color combination, uh, but it did get quite a buff from this set uh, in a number of different ways. And we'll talk about that, uh, at least in the standard variant uh, ver uh, throughout this deck. But essentially, Magecraft is a beautiful new ability that says whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, something happens. Something could be a buff. Something could be a, a uh, board-wide buff. It could be whatever it needs to be. But in this case, Clever uh, Lumamancer is really one of the, the flagship cards of this deck. It's a 0-1-for-1, one one, not great on the face of it, but that Magecraft ability gives it plus 2, plus 2 every single time that you cast a uh, instant or sorcery. So what's great about that is we can essentially pair it with a lot of really cheap stuff that hopefully draws us some more cards and gets us where we need to be. Now, we also have Leon and Light Scribe here, which is going to help buff our entire team, uh, which is great. Uh, and again, the rest of the deck, for the most part, is a lot of kind of cheap pump spells. So we've got Defiant Strike, plus one plus zero, and draws us a card. But obviously, in tandem with these two can really, or excuse me, these two can really go crazy. We've got Fight as one to give a little bit of protection, but also trigger. We've got Light of Hope to deal with pesky enchantments, or pump, or gain life, whatever we need it to do. Uh, we've got Crash Through, which we do have to very carefully remember is a sorcery, not an instant, but it does crucially draw us a card and give Trample, uh, which can be very key in some of these matchups. We've got Infuriate, which is plus three, plus two, the most powerful of our pump spells, but it does not draw us a card. Uh, and then we've got Shock here as a four of that can just kind of hit whatever we need it to hit. It's not uh, necessarily meant to, uh, to, to buff anything, but it does obviously do that in tandem. Uh, we also have Rip Apart, one of my favorite new cards from the set uh choose one at sorcery speed for red and white deals three damage to target creature or planeswalker and uh or excuse me or destroy target artifact or enchantment now i've found this to be extraordinarily helpful against a lot of decks uh obviously control decks are going to have planeswalkers creature decks are going to have creatures or aggro decks are going to have creatures but a lot of the one-off decks like even the mono white list runs banishing light uh, which can be a huge problem for this deck. So giving something or, or being able to blow up that enchantment with either Rip Apart or Light of Hope just is a super, super efficient way to take care of things plus buff the stuff. So all really, really good. Now at the top end, uh, what we have, uh, or, and I should mention, we do have Selfless Savior in here to grant uh, Indestructible as well. Very helpful. Uh, but in the three drop slot, we've got two new cards as well. Mavinda Students Advocate is a card I wanted to test out here, uh, essentially allowing us to replay all the stuff in our graveyard for very cheap. Uh, the, the ability costs zero if it targets a creature that we control. Uh, and so essentially we just replay all of our pump spells and deal a, a butt ton of damage is the goal. Uh, we also have uh, Venerable War Singer, which can bring some of our creatures back if we need to. Uh, it has Vigilance and Trample at 3-3. Just a really powerful card. Uh, and because we really don't have to deal very much damage uh, to be able to bring some stuff back, it just gives us that ability to continuously grant Indestructible or bring back one of our uh, Luma Mancers. And then, truthfully, the most powerful card, I think, in this deck is Showdown of the Skulls. Obviously a Kaldheim card, but... 
allowing us to essentially draw four cards that we can play at, at, throughout our next turn or through the end of that turn. Uh, and then on the following turn, whenever we cast a spell this turn, put a 1-1 counter on target creature you control, that adds up quickly. Uh, especially when all of the, the cards that you're playing essentially cost one mana. <laughs> uh, so, very, very good deck in my opinion. We're going to test this bad boy out. We do have sn the, the Fury Calm Snarl, beautiful artwork. Only as a two of, we don't really want to hit too many of these as tap lands. And then really the only major tech is the Castle Embreath uh, to be able to, to plus up all of our stuff. So, that's what we're looking at. It's going to be a fun time. I'm really excited about this deck. I have tested it. Uh, this is a deck of my own creation. Um, I I did not pull a list for this one and I'm a little excited because I do think that this is a very very good start to what this deck could do uh, so we're we're gonna have a fun time with it today uh, do we like this hand is a great question um, they are a Luris deck so chances are they are going to probably have a lot of cheap stuff in their deck so I'm actually going to keep uh, funny enough, what's great about these creature matchups, and we may get to see this here, I don't know, uh, but Defiant Strike actually kind of does a good bit, uh, because you can kind of just throw it out there and, you know, pump up one of your, even just the, the selfless savior and trade off or do whatever you need to do, and then of it of course replaces itself as well, but crucially here, the rip apart is going to be great to deal with this fox. Uh, do of course have to worry about the, uh, the zenith flare coming down later on but we'll see what happens also guys we are a little bit early to the stream today i apologize uh but the reality is it just kind of worked better with my schedule so here we are hope that's okay okay so we get to do this we'll show off a mountain that's totally fine uh, but that does allow us to do a little bit more here um and what I think I'm gonna do is actually attack in here. Now I know that this sounds a little weird, but let's let's see what they do. They may just block, they are not going to, that's fine. Uh, in which case we just let it hit. And then we're gonna rip apart. Uh, I think we rip apart the fox actually. Uh, the, the fox is really the trickier one because long term that's gonna do quite a bit more damage uh, than the stinger, both of which are heavy damage dealers, no doubt, but uh, that just gives us a little bit of extra legs here, I think. The Dranath stinger doesn't get stronger itself. Uh, it just is gonna ping us for a good bit. Yep. Uh, crucially though, in a couple turns, we do get showdown off. Uh, which should help us. This was not a super exciting start. We didn't have any of our Magecraft stuff, which is fine. We don't necessarily need it, but uh, would, of course, have been helpful. Um, I am going to do one of these here uh, just to see what we draw. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and shock that here. And we'll just let that be. I uh, do want to hold up another Defiant Strike here. Uh, the reason being, again, we really want to save those for when we can truly capitalize on them. A Selfless Savior is not doing very much capitalization on that. Uh, and so, it's nice to be able to kind of hold off until you've got one of the uh, Luma Mancers or, you know, something along those lines at least. Okay. Resolve all. Uh, and this is why we killed the, the first Flourishing Fox. This is scary. Very, very, very scary. Uh, and so we wanted to be able to to ensure that we're, we're not just dying to a very big Flourishing Fox. Uh, so here, it's a pretty clear just showdown. Um, and we'll see what we get. Uh, that's interesting. No attacks here. Little worried about the Zenith Flare. Um... I don't know how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Uh, they can certainly deal a lot of damage here uh, and gain a lot of life, which is very crucial for us, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we're back. Sorry about that, everybody. I know that's kind of frustrating, but uh, unfortunately, our network is just garbage, and it's very frustrating, but here we are. Uh, basically all we did was play a couple of the things that we drew last turn, uh, just to give us a little bit more legs against this deck. We're still pretty much dead to a Zenith Flare, um, but gotta do the best we can, right? Uh, so we're, we're working on it.
We're working on it. Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> Not sure what the opponent is looking to do. If they have the Zenith Flare in hand, they should probably just hold that up, I guess. Huh. I'm going to give it indestructible here. I think that was either an incorrect play or they have a different ability that they're trying to do to get rid of the Light Scribe. I don't know, but Mavenda is very much a powerful card against them, so we will see what happens. Okay. Well, they have access to a ton of stuff. We'll see if it's worth it. Um, perfect. Okay. So let's see what happens. Let's do this. Put it on Mavenda, I suppose. <laughs> uh, Shock deals with the Luris. Uh, we'll put the 1 1 counter again on Mavenda. Uh, we will Defiant Strike on Mavenda. Uh, putting it there. Ooh, neat. Um, okay. We're going to activate the ability. We are going to Defiant Strike on Mavenda. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um... We're going, can that only be activated once, uh, only once each turn? Okay, so we actually missed uh, a pretty decent chunk of damage here, but that's okay. Um, let's put another 1 1 counter here. Now we attack with both. And that's 12, 14. So it's not lethal, but it's pretty dang close. Um, Man, so the problem is if we had, uh, that's a big bird, Quirk's fine, it is a big bird. Uh, the problem is if we had actually counted better, we could have played that first and actually done it, but here they just win. Isn't that frustrating? We actually could have won. Uh, Anti-hype in chat, guys. We didn't We didn't get there. Quirk's fine, how are you doing today, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you. How was your weekend? Um, I'm really liking this deck, though, I'll be honest. Thank you for the anti-hype. I appreciate that. That's lovely. <laughs> All right, the server running a bit slow today. Or that's my network. Either one, it's terrible. Um, let's go ahead and fill in a little bit of mastery here. Ooh, Wither Bloom, yes. Uh, got a lot done, still have a lot of work to do. Quirk's fine, I understand. Uh, are you still in school right now, Quirk's fine? Just out of curiosity. If so, how is it going? <sighs> All right, let's do this. We got this, we got this, we got this. So that was just a matter of had we counted better, we could have won. That's a little annoying, but at least we know we could have. That's kind of nice. Um, fairly unexciting hand, but we do have the showdown. I'm going to try it. Uh, the turn one selfless savior is always nice, but it's a lot nicer when you've got something worth protecting. Mavinda is definitely worth protecting, but uh, obviously not there yet. Uh, early May, it isn't a struggle, but it's getting difficult. I understand. Uh, school was not fun, in my opinion. Uh, so I completely understand. Um, looks like the, uh, control deck, I'm guessing, then. Interesting. Okay. Sure. They hit land, that's fine. Um... Let's see, what is the best play here? Um, let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, worth drawing a card there, I guess. That's fine. They get their 0-4, that's cool. Uh, my guess is they're just going to be able to counter whatever we do on the this this coming turn here, which is kind of why I wanted to get some power down, but the reality is 
they will also then have a sweeper, which is going to be frustrating. Um, so what do we go for? I mean, I think Mavenda. Wait for it. Here it comes. They're going to counter it. There it is. Uh, okay. We'll resolve that. That's fine. So then what we're going to do is we're going to attack in. And we're going to see what they do. Perfect. So let's do this. It'll just get rid of this. Um, it's not an amazing hit by any means, but it does get rid of the 0-4, which is going to block our way a good bit. Um, also, I would have much rather the Mavinda get countered there other than, or, or in comparison to the showdown. I'm assuming they sweep here. Yeah. Uh, but we can grant indestructible. I'm going to give it to the Light Scribe. Um, and now we've got showdown, which is just helpful. Um, no land. That's a bit surprising. Uh, but it is what it is. So, let's see what happens. Ooh, very nice on the opponent's end. Pulling that Elspeth Conqueror's Death to answer. That was very, very solid. Uh, okay. Well, we do have the answer to that, which is kind of nice. Uh, but first, we're going to play the Light Scribe. And then we're going to destroy Target Enchantment which powers both of these guys up quite heavily. That's why I love Rip Apart. It's such a good card, in my opinion. Uh, the flexibility that that provides is immense. Absolutely immense. There's the Dream Trawler. That's certainly scary. Um, I'm going to play another Light Scribe. Um, so that would buff three times. So yeah, we actually can just attack in here. Uh, and they do kind of have to block. If they don't, we just win. Yeah. Hey, Omega, what's up, my man? How are you doing today? Give it to this one. Just to be safe. I mean, they can't interact with this. They've got nothing up. Uh, and this just absolutely demolishes the Dream Trawler. Granted, it does have lifelink. Um, but now they basically just have to have a sweeper. Uh, this looks similar enough. So Quirkspine, I have not looked at anybody else's list for standard other than the one that I pulled the other day. Um, other than that, I have not touched another list. I kind of wanted to see a little bit of a different, a little bit of a different take for me. I wanted to see what I could do on my own. Um, and I love this list. I think this is a fun one. Um, but we're we're we could have won the the first game we've we've very much i think lost this game though we've had some really good plays and i think that's the trick with this deck is if you can get the the plays in the right order man this thing can do some major major work uh omega that's what we're doing today my man we are uh we're working towards it we're drawing a lot of land which isn't very helpful but it is what it is um They've got the Gadwick down. Now they've got a full grip of cards. We've got a mountain. So a little bit of an unlucky draw there, but that's okay. Oh, and Dream Trawler. Okay, well, now we're just super dead. <laughs> we'll see what we draw, but chances are we're just going to concede. Uh, it's very difficult for us to really deal with this. Yeah, and we're just hitting all the lands. So we'll go ahead and concede. Antsy Hype in chat. That is our second loss. Second loss indeed. But you know what? It's fine. We're here to try something new. We're here to have a good time. Uh, Quirkspine, what cards, uh, if I may ask, what cards did you were the like heavy hitters in your build? Uh, if I if uh, you don't mind sharing, um, for me it's Showdown, and I think Mavinda is a really good hit, uh, in just in my opinion. But um, hey, Niatic, I didn't even see you here. What's up? How are you? Also, just slightly, I'm gonna. Nope, not what I meant to do. I'm gonna... No, stop. Stop, stop, stop. There we go. Shrink this down ever so slightly. There we go. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? Shodown and Warslinger are the bigger cards. I did not put Warslinger in here, but I'm okay with that. Oh, I did. Excuse me. The... the vo I misread what you said yes i did put the worstlinger in there i think the worstlinger is super good don what is up my man 
Great to see you. I have it as a two of in my list, Quirks Fun. I didn't do it as the full uh, the full th uh, four. And I think that that might be correct, but I don't know for sure. I'm going to play the, the light scribe here. Uh, we'll see what happens. That may be incorrect, but we're going to try it. Um, they, I'm assuming, will have a removal spell this turn. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. And then I assume village rights to, to follow it up. If not, then that was just a bad play, but yeah, they've got it. That's fine. It's worth a shot. Um, interesting. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, a lot of my spells are more buff and protection heavy as well. Fair enough. I'm going to hold the Light of Hope. And we're going to play the Selfless Savior. If they have another claim, this really sucks, to be honest. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. If they target the Savior, we just make the Lumamancer indestructible. All right, so first things first, we're going to do this. We're going to play this. And we're going to attack in here. Still holding on to the Light of Hope. I don't know if I want to use that yet. How's it going today? Done. It's going great, my man. It has been a busy day. Uh, it has been a very productive day. But it was a beautiful weekend. Caitlin and I got to... Uh, relax for the first time in a while um which was great um and and then sunday we had a very very productive day which was just great so very very happy to say it was a great weekend um ooh, uh yeah so we just destroy target enchantment here that buffs that um and then we hit that. Uh, and I'm going to leave up Shock for a very crucial moment. Shock may come into play. So I want to make sure that we've got access to it. Uh, if they just play a, a creature this turn, we might be able to kill it. Uh, if not, then we can Shock them and, you know, power up the, the Luma Mancer or something along those lines. Okay, well, we can double up Rip Apart and Shock on this, which again still powers up the Luma Mancer, which is worth it. Potentially. We will see. Uh, if we draw a white source, we can Defiant Strike as well. That is not a white source. Um, so let's rip apart. I am going to double up on this. They, got, they get so much mana from this, though. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Uh, invested in a red for a gold span dragon. Ah, they're just gonna sack it. Okay, sure. We still get the the power boost here, which is nice. Uh, and now they at least don't have a gold span dragon. Hey, Tapia, good to see you, buddy. How are you doing today? How was your weekend? Did you do anything exciting? Um, Alright, so... I don't know how we're going to make it through this, I'll be honest. Oh, good. Perfect. I guess alternatively, we could have just... Shocked them, dealt a bunch to them, like attacked with the Lumamancer, see if they block, and then just do a bunch of stuff that way. Okay, well, now we're just dead. That might have been a better play, realistically. Um... <laughs> Good, had to work yesterday. Today will be good. I bought some stuff off your TCG shop and it should be in today. Tapia, that's awesome. I'm really glad. I hope it is there today. I did send things out a bit late. Uh, I know we had like, we had a handful of orders over the last week. Um, and because it was a busy week for us, um, I, I unfortunately didn't get them out as soon as I would have liked to. So if you were on that list and you may have been, I do apologize, but they are out now. Um, everything has been caught up and everything. I spent a lot of time yesterday just trying to get stuff done. Um, 
Saturday, both Caitlin and I were feeling really uh, not great. So we took some time to just rest and relax and get ourselves kind of where we needed to be to have a nice productive week. Also anti-hype in chat, we lost, um, but that's okay. That is okay. Um, so yeah, it was a fantastic time though. We had a, we had a really nice weekend um, and back at the grind, back at the grind. All right, I'm determined we're gonna get a win. I am determined. Thank you for the anti-hype, both Quirkspine and Niatic and Tapia. Look at you guys coming through. I like it. We got this. I believe in us. I believe in us. I really do. I believe in us. I think we can do this. Uh, what do we have here? Yeah, let's keep. Selfless Savior into Light Scribe. Not bad. Uh, what would be great is if we drew just any land, uh, because ideally it'd be great to then follow that up with something great. Ooh, that's not bad either, actually. Uh, I'm going to attack in with the Selfless Savior. The only thing they might have that I can think of is the little Flash 1-1, one one, and I don't really care about that, so... <laughs> All right. Hope you taking a minute. Okay. <laughs> so we're up against the Giants deck, it looks like, uh, which is fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Um, I'm actually going to crash through here. I kind of just want to draw a card <laughs> really badly. <laughs> Uh, and we'll Defiant Strike too. I just don't want to hit a land. And we still did not. Um... Alright, well. Honestly, I'm happy we did it then because we need to hit a land this coming turn. Like, we are we are in a bad place if we don't. Uh, and ideally, it's a red source. Although, really anything would be fine. No, red would be best for sure. But we'll see. We will see. That was a heck of a lot of damage, though, pretty quickly. Okay. Interesting. Are they just trying to hit, like, a shock, maybe? Uh, two more lands as well in place of draw the draw instance. Quirkspawn, that makes sense. I, uh, I initially even had less lands in here because I didn't originally have, like, Mavenda and stuff like that, so I actually had the curve a lot lower. It was, like, 1-2 and maybe 1-3 drop. Um, and so it actually was like kind of nice because the mana cost of everything was so cheap, but it just burnt out too quickly. Uh, and so I added in a good bit of other stuff, uh, just to, just to up it a little white, huh? Okay. Um, play a light scribe. I'm just gonna keep dealing damage, dude. I mean, why not? We have lethal next turn now. So they have to deal with both of these. Um, and if they don't, then... Or just play a bigger creature, I guess. But like, if we draw a land, we also have Mavenda, which is helpful. We have some options here. What'd you get? Trample? That's fine, actually. That's very fine. Uh, yeah, we just rip apart. And I don't think for one blue they could really have a whole lot because either one of these is now lethal. Hype for the win. We got it. Corkspine showing it off early. Theoretically, we have it, I should say. There is a world where we don't, I'm sure. Could have also just shocked them but oh they just counter it that still does not matter at all let's go guys we got some hype we finally got a win finally got a win look at that um those light scribes man especially if you've got multiple they just stack and stack i love it i absolutely love it thank you so much for the hype cork spine splayer and tapia and Niatic, coming in clutch. I like it, guys. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Let's keep jumping in. Let's do it.
I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, also, guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit. So I posted in the Discord, as I'm sure a couple of you guys saw at least, um, about a collection manager. Uh, because as you can see behind me, this is all collection. Uh, and so what I've been trying to do is organize it, price it, get get all the information that I need to get uh, in one collection manager. Um, and that's certainly an undertaking. <laughs> let, let me just say that is a massive undertaking. Um, but so far, at least, it's going OK. Um, I'm actually going to start a bit slower. We're going to say play the savior first and let them probably use a burn spell on it. Um, so anyway. I have been searching and searching. The latest one that I was using was like, okay, but not great. Um, and I just kept finding like issues with it, uh, to, to put it lightly, um, which is fine. Like it doesn't have to be perfect, but it was kind of to the point where it was just very frustrating. Um, I'm taking the opportunity to shock now, by the way, we just go ahead and do it. So they can't put any counters on stuff. We could have waited till their combat step, but I'd rather not since they, I don't know what they could have, but I just didn't want to deal with it. Um, huh. I'm just going to shock. Oh, wait, I can't. Whoops. Uh, also love the Magecraft animation. Yeah, it's very sweet. Um, anyway, all that to say, I've been looking and searching for the best collection manager that works for me, and I have officially found it. Uh, Dragon Shield has been amazing so far. I am loving Dragon Shield. They've really just come up with a really good system. Uh, and so I am very stoked by it. I love it. And I've been using it a lot, uh, which I'm very happy about. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill that. Uh, and we attack in. I'm gonna leave up the fight as one. Uh, this is a human, this is a dog, so we actually can use this to our advantage if they do try and burn something, or banishing light would be a bit of a problem, I guess, but that is also a problem. Um, okay. I mean, we can just shock that at some point. Um, sure, okay. Not much we can do. Uh, Skyclave Apparition, you got it. Can't do a lot about that. Um, what do we want? We need something here. That's not bad. Um, I think I still just shock here, though. Just so we can keep kind of some pressure moving forward. If we can keep them at one creature, um, or less, obviously, then that's really good for us. So I'm going to keep doing that. Um, and we'll attack in here for one. Anyway, yeah, the, the collection manager that Dragon Shield has is incredible. I love it. Um, it does require a bit of a subscription fee if you're trying to get like a lot of cards in it. Um, but I really like it. This is so silly. I People don't understand that this fizzles the spell. If it no longer has a target, it fizzles. And they no longer get Bone Crusher Giant. <laughs> um, now, we could have fight, used Fight as one there, but... There was really no need. Um, I'd rather fizzle the, the Bone Crusher Giant and not have to worry about it later than keep a 1-1 around, realistically. So that's where we're at. Um, I think we just play Mavenda, honestly. Guys, it's double season from Ravnica, really worth around 75. Uh, Deviling season, the latest reprint was in Battle bond uh which wasn't that long ago um i'm not saying it's definitely worth that but like it's gonna be a higher end card unless they reprint again and they did fairly recently so i don't know uh, i'm not the person to ask on mtg finance i'll be honest but um it does seem like a very good card um huh i'm actually gonna block here uh, double Masters, but yeah, was it Double Masters Quirkspine? I'm sorry. Um, that's even more recent. <laughs> so, even still, um, yeah, I think it's it's just going to be a uh, fairly expensive card. Uh, if we do this, we exile the card, so we don't really want to do that. 
I'm just gonna get rid of that. I don't... I mean, they could have saved it, I guess, but... Uh, jumped a little recently. Yeah, I found my old... Checking the prices. Nice. Um, yeah, the prices of a lot of cards have been... I uh, actually just priced my Alliances binder, and I've got, like, Lake of the Dead and stuff like that, which I knew was good, obviously, but I didn't realize maybe how good... <laughs> Um, and it has significantly gone up in price since I had gotten it. Oh, that's right. Um, forgot about that. It does have to target. That's silly. My bad. Um, I'm actually going to attack with both of these. If they want to trade anything for this 1-1, one -one, great. That is fine. Uh, granted, we can really capitalize on it, but I kind of doubt they would do that, so it's fine. <laughs> I tell you what I'm worried about is Embercleave, um, because eventually, I mean, they will get it. I'm just gonna take three. We've taken no damage so far, uh, as well as Mana Crypt. Yeah, Mana Crypt definitely jumped. Um, Let's see what happens. Just kind of want to see. Nothing. Interesting. Just put a 1 1 counter on the 1 1, because why not? Uh, I'm not really counting, but I think this just wins us the game. Yeah. <laughs> Cool, we did it. Go us. Look at us. We we don't suck at this game, surprising. Um, we did it. Another little uh, round of hype in the chat, guys. We did it. We got a second win with this deck. We're finally getting a couple wins with this, uh, which feels great. Um, I'm not playing perfectly. There are a lot of things that I am noticing that uh, as I go through, I'm either rushing a spell or maybe thinking about it in the wrong way. Um, so if you do play a Magecraft deck, like a Boris Magecraft deck like this, do make sure that you think about every line. Um, I, I'll be honest and say I'm I'm not thinking about every single line that there might be for a turn. Uh, so just be careful. That's all I would urge you to do. Thank you, Tapia and Quirkspine for the hype. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, oh no, uh, definitely not gonna keep this hand. Double Snarl. That sucks. Um, this is better. Yeah, we'll keep this and... I'm gonna throw one of these guys back. I like... I want to try the Warslinger. I haven't gotten a chance to, to be honest. Uh, and so doing this now seems right. We'll see. White. Okay. Uh, so we reveal the Mountain. And we play the Lumamancer. Decent start. I mean, we've got plenty of stuff in hand. Even if they kill this Lumamancer, we've got backup Lumamancer. Um, so we've got we've got some stuff. We've got some stuff. We'll see if it works. Uh, I would love to save both of these until later, but we will see. Um, three Lumamancers in the top ten. Nice, right? Like <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna leave up white here. Uh, for the Defiant Strike, and I'm just going to pass. Uh, the reason being, they may see fit to attack in here, and if they do, um, that's great. Because we get to just kind of... Oh, man. Okay. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to Defiant Strike. Uh and hope that they don't have anything. They could have like a heroic intervention or something like that, but wasting a heroic intervention now seems kind of bad. Um, but that's just my opinion, obviously. I don't know. They may not even have it. So they do have two mana available. There we go. Get rid of that. Cast, put a 1-1 counter. Okay. Um... I'm gonna do this. Ooh, 
was showdown. Um, I'm going to do this. There's another land, which is helpful. Uh, and I'm going to attack it. They're just going to take it. That's fine. All right. Um, little worried about this. Uh, this elite is very scary, but... Or they're just going to give up. In which case, we win. And you all need to hype now. So, that's that's where we're at. That's where we're at. I don't know why they gave up. I guess they just didn't have lands. Uh, it looked like they didn't, so I'm assuming. Oh, we have a pack. Let's open a pack. Thank you for the hype, both Quirkspine and Tapia. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, ooh, look at that. Well, hello, Miss Onyx. Look at that. Was not ready for that hype. No, Tapia, I was not either. I thought I was losing that game, but here we are. Can't complain, can't complain. Uh, also, I was going to talk. Yeah, hype for that poll. Honestly, Corkspine's right. Everybody hype. We just got Professor Onyx. Um, I was going to let you guys know. I don't know. I, I'm... I'm saying this up front because I don't know if we're going to be able to do it or not. I would love to do the card hunt this Friday. However, I will be going out of town for the weekend and I'm actually leaving on Friday uh, and I'm not 100% sure as to which what time yet. Um, so if I can get a card hunt in on Friday, I would love to. I think it'd be fun to start that back up now that we do have Strixhaven here. What? <laughs> Um, so I'm very, very excited for that possibility, but at the moment, I'm not guaranteeing that we are because I just don't know. Um, I'm going to crash through and then I'm going to attack and we'll just see what happens. Wow. They really blocked. That's great. All right. Perfect. Why does everybody take the block? Uh, anyway, if we don't do it this week, I promise you we will be doing it the following week for sure. I cannot wait because it really is going to be a fun time. This is such a great set. Uh, I just can't wait to open it um, for you guys. So it's going to be really a, a good time, I think. Uh, we're going to attack in. We're going to Defiant Strike. Um, perfect. I'm just going to selfless savior here. Let's not get too greedy. Um, let's make sure that we've got some built-in protection for the Lumomancer. If they do have Banishing Light, that just kind of sucks. But what is this deck? This deck sucks, right? Like, what? what is this? This is Vigilance.deck? Great. Uh, anyway, that's so funny. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's castle in breath here. Uh, and we actually just get to swing in and see what they do. Kind of helpful. Uh, let's Defiant Strike first, I suppose. Since we don't actually have to get to a certain amount of damage, that kind of works out. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Uh... Ooh, trick is... Oh, no, that actually works out, because we, we do have the Selfless Savior out, so that's kind of fine. Oh, crap. Guys, I didn't I didn't play the Light Scribe. That was dumb. I was definitely going to do that, but it's fine. Oh, great. We get to kill that. Uh, whenever you attack, put a 1-1 on I'm just going to go ahead and kill it. That kind of worked out. I'll be honest. I don't want them to have Sparring Regimen. That's frustrating. So let's get that out of there. All right. I feel pretty good about this. Uh, after this, we may just play like one more game or something like that. We're getting pretty close to time here, so. That's fine. I don't. This seems like a very ambitious deck, um, but that's just my opinion. Ooh, showdown. Now, hold on. Uh, well, we would be playing Showdown into a Reduce, so maybe we do this first. Yeah, seems better. Seems better. All right. Please block. Thank you. Should have put the counter on the light scribe, I suppose, but it's fine. 
And we could have attacked a selfless savior. Again, I'm rushing. Uh, oh, they've got a thing. Okay. Nice. That just means nothing really happens, but that's cool. All right. They soaked up some damage. I'm in. You got me. They're going to reduce here, I assume. And I don't know if they're going to hit the Light Scribe or the Lumomancer, because they could go either way. It is a sorcery, so we do have to... We're just going to take the five, right? Yeah, I'll just take five. That's fine. I ain't upset about it. It's fine. Okay. See, I would have maybe gone for the Light Scribe, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm think I know what they're thinking, but I think I would have gone the Light Scribe. Uh, anyway, let's do this. Let's see if we can hit a land. We can, but that's not an untapped land. So we're going to do this first. And we are going to destroy target enchantment. Get rid of that. Perfect. And now we can attack with this little guy. And they take four. Okay. I like that. Uh, I think we're in okay territory here. We'll see. This is such a weird deck, guys. <laughs> I'll be honest. This just seems so silly. I'm just going to not block. I I don't care about two damage. I just don't. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Ooh. Um, sounds right for plat four. Yeah, I guess. That's fair. Um, we're going to go here. Another showdown. Uh, that's intense. Um, we'll play the land because we just need to. We can play another showdown, or we can just go here. Uh, or we can play Mavenda and actually do something else. I kind of like the Mavenda play. The question is, what do we want? Um, I think it's probably the fight is one. So let's do this. <laughs> Be careful in our tapping. That's kind of what I'm looking at here. We'll do this. We're going to click fight as one. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Um, you. And you. And I'm just trying to make it so I can attack with as much as possible here. Because this now, now they have to do something. Like, they have to block at least one thing. Um, okay, they're going to double block, and that's fine. I'm still going to take one of these with me. And crucially, now we have a flyer. Also, yeah, they double blocked. <laughs> it had indestructible. I, I even forgot, uh, but that's fine. That's great. Um, so I have to imagine now they're just kind of out of luck, right? Like there's not much they can do. Okay, sure. And we do have another showdown here as well. Um, showing off that hype already. I like it. Uh, let's do this. I'm going Mavenda so we can just like pile on the damage here, essentially. Um, sure. There's another land. That's great. Um, let's do this. Uh, what do we need to attack with, I guess? Um, really any of these. Doesn't matter. Right. They can kill the selfless savior and it's fine. But they still have to block everything else. Oh no. Okay. Well, we'll see if this works. We probably didn't have to attack with the Selfless Savior. There was really no point, but it's fine. Okay. I don't even know what this... Uh, not creature spells. That does not affect me in the least. Um, okay. <laughs> cool. 
we did it guys let's play one final game for today i really do enjoy this deck i know quirks fine was mentioning that uh first of all thank you guys for the hype toppy and quirks fine hype in chat we won um but i do know quirks fine was saying he also created uh his own version of this kind of list highly recommend checking out his aether hub account uh quirks fine you do a phenomenal job you create so many deck lists it's ridiculous please go check him out uh on on aether hub uh, and Corkspine, if you'd like, you can share the link, not here in, in chat, but you can share in Discord if you would like uh, to your Aetherhub profile. Let's build them up, guys. Let's do it. Uh, but yeah, it creates some really amazing decks. Uh, feel free to check his version out, but I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. Uh, this is mm, an interesting hand, isn't it? Uh, okay, hear me out. We're going to we're going to keep it. <laughs> We should not, but we're going to keep it. Um, we got shock turn one. We got a turn two land, which is helpful. Look at that. See, never didn't have it. I mean, we're not, we're definitely going to die now, but <laughs> I had to try. All right. Robber, another champion. Wow. I'm glad we killed one of those then. Nice. Uh, people really look attention to the. Uh, oh yeah, nice. Um, all right, I'm actually gonna draw a card here. Oh my god, so many! <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Um, oh, what an idiot! I am. Um, all right. Well, we just pass. If I had played the planes, it could have been fine. Um, Don, feel free to share that in the deck suggestions chat because I, I do want to check decks out eventually, but I do want to build some of my own in the initial stages here. Um, there's just so many awesome decks that I, I felt the need to at least try. I'm actually going to showdown uh, first. We'll see what we get. Looks like a lot of just spells, uh, which is fine, but... Shock is going to be somewhat helpful here. That's potentially death for us, so <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, I think we're just dead here, but that's fine. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. 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 All right. Watch us die. Um, yeah, they really don't even have to do very much to us to kill us. Yeah, they got us. All right, guys. Well, you know what? This has still been a very fun time. I have really enjoyed this deck. Anti-hype in chat, by the way. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I hope you're enjoying the, the new uh, Strixhaven set. I hope you guys got to pre-release. If anybody did, feel free to share your uh, story in our Discord chat. We'd very much like to hear it. Uh, Quirkspine, thank you for the anti-hype. But guys, have a fantastic day. I hope you had a great weekend. Hope you have a great week. We will be back uh, most likely tomorrow. I will go ahead, like I mentioned earlier, just let you guys know I will be gone this weekend, so we probably won't do much weekend stuff that we don't normally do too much anyway. Uh, so we're not going to be missing out on too much. But I really appreciate the support, guys. You are all amazing individuals, and I hope you have a lovely day. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.